Welcome back. Welcome back to another Time Spiral Draft here on the internet. Sushi Go is the best card game for drafting ever. I thought Magic was the best card game for drafting. And I would imagine that Magic is also the card game that it, that started drafting. I'm not positive about that, but that would be my guess. And what we're going to do now is Jake P, otherwise known as Spectral Links, otherwise known as Guardian Links, uh... <clears throat> messaged me earlier and said i have an idea for a time spiral draft how about we do a draft where you take all the slivers and it's not based on like the you know i have a usual rate for stipulations uh if you guys are interested so we do that uh this time it's gonna it's a different rate he's like i'll give you a flat rate of like five bucks and then like i'll give you extra for each sliver that you get in your deck and i was like that sounds awesome and it incentivizes me to take all the slivers so I can't argue with that. And so we're going to do slivers and we're going to take literally all of the slivers. All right. Is it possible to draft Yu-Gi-Oh? I actually don't know that. But I, I know Magic came first, so even if it was, you know. <laughs> even if it was, that doesn't really, that doesn't do anything for us. I was actually tempted to get a warm drink because it's cold out. But in my head, I was like, God, who has the time? I'd have to, like, heat the water. Oh, God, please. Just get out of here. I actually don't know if, uh, is there a cube up? No, there's not. The cube ended on Wednesday morning. However, next Wednesday, Modern Cube is up, so from one cube to another and then modern cube runs for like a month i think and then a week there's a week of nothing and then after that there's a month of holiday vintage high slash vintage cube so uh the next two months are pretty cube centric which is just gas semi uh i did get your email i got both of your emails actually <clears throat> i would i'll have to pick which one you pick which one actually you tell me what you want what you want what you want to do Modern cube is good. I do like a good modern. I like all the cubes, to be honest with you. Even the uncommon cube was not uh, was not bad. I, I expected it to be... Well, there were some broken cards in modern cube. because like, Or not modern, but uncommon cube. Because there were definitely cards that likely should not have been uncommon at their time. <clears throat> but they were. I can't be bothered to heat up water. What do I look like? A, what, what do I look like? The butler? <laughs> Who has the time? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> we are drafting Time Spiral Kesem. That is correct. Corset cube was a lot better than I thought. Agreed. I actually agree. I was like, corset? You mean like vanilla creatures and like mill two cards? Like, And then no, it turned out to be very, very deep. I was impressed. It had tribes. It had bombs. It had removal. I was impressed. I will give credit where credit's due. <clears throat> seven out of eight we're almost there four minutes into this video and you guys are still waiting for the draft to fire so All right. <clears throat> All right. Slivers. Slivers on deck. Here's a sliver. Is this the only sliver? <clears throat> uh, it's the only sliver. It's a 1-1 one, one for 1. I mean, we're going to take it, right? Like, it's got to make the deck. Nightshade Assassin's very good. So is Knight of the Holy Nimbus. This pack is actually stacked. Temporal Isolation. 
Yeah, we're gonna take this uh, underwhelming mind lash sliver. Unsubbed. This is non-content. How dare you? I hire Mike to do something. Pay off his rat debt. Um, but see, the problem is, if I hire Mike to do something, oh, I guess I would be paying him, and then he would pay the rat debt. Yeah, that makes sense. I guess. If I donate during this week, the weekend, do you see the message? Uh, I don't think so. Better. It's now or never, buddy. It's now or never. All right, one sliver. Ooh, dementia sliver. That's what your grandfather has. Oh, Grandpa's got Dementia Sliver again. Target player reveals a card at random from their hand. If that card has the chosen name, they discard it. So I could just be like, activate, choose, swamp. I get to look at your hand, and then I get to choose another card. Oh, they reveal a card at random? Oh, that sliver sucks. Either way. Oh, there's also a Watcher Sliver. That actually might be better. 3-3 three, three for 5 with a pretty stupid ability. And you can activate it only during your turn? Nah, that ain't good. I'm taking the Watcher Sliver. Lord and Scion of Ur Dragon. Slivers. Can I search? Is there like a search feature in the actual draft itself? Can I sort by slivers? Put the slivers in the front for me. Given Sliver Shadow seems good, but it's also, it's this could be, so keep in mind, this is a double-edged sword where, like, um, if you have this and you need to block, you're done for. Them Slivers are going to get wrecked. You're going to get wrecked, actually, because the Slivers are hard to, they can't block. <coughs> you get it. You, get, you understand what I'm saying here. Has there been a sliver in every pack so far except for this one? I think so. What does this guy do if it enters the battlefield? Deals damage to if it's on the battlefield, it deals damage equal to the power of our attacking creature. This guy's pretty good. This guy's got some shooties. We can also take Dread Dread Reef. I don't know. There's no slivers in this pack, right? This guy's pretty good. Transmuter's also pretty good. <clears throat> I'll take the land because we I kinda wanna just be able to fix my mana. My mana. Fix and what did someone just hate all the slivers? They're like, no, you're not gonna get any more slivers. Dang. This is this art something else. Um. Hmm. Huh. Oh. Oh boy, Vesuva, I guess, is kind of a fixer. <laughs> uh, it's not wrong, actually. You know what? I'm gonna buy it because if they have a if they have a thing or we have a thing, it's a fixer. Basalt sliver. All right, we're just going we're going sliver crazy here, guys. Sliver screeching sliver. One one for one. Mills. That's a mill sliver. I don't even care. I'm just taking all the slivers, and we're gonna be Esper slivers uh, up until the point where we get green and red slivers. In which case, we're gonna be five color slivers. <coughs> Oh, Vampiric Sliver. That's a good dude. All Slivers have when this creature deals damage. When a creature dealt damage by this dies, it gets plus one, plus one. Meanwhile, you have Flanking. Yeah, we're going to take the uncommon four drop Sliver. Yeah, the one ones are not bad because they still become better. They become better, you see.
we're having a good sliver time. I usually have a, I have a fan on my desk that's usually on because it gets it's the the green screen really traps the heat in here, so it gets hot. And I don't even have it on because it's like fifty three degrees outside. So I'm just like, you know what? We're good. We're good without. We are good without. Oh, we can take something different. I mean, to be fair, the stipulation is I can take whatever cards I want, but I will get. Uh, I'm incentivized to take additional slivers, so. Uh, it's kind of like a, it's a small fan. It's a smaller fan. <laughs> oh, biscuits. I guess it's easy to think twice your spell burst here. <clears throat> I'll take the thing twice. What does Megas of the Mirror do? Exchange life totals with a player? That's interesting. 4 2 is pretty fragile, but exchanging life totals is pretty scary, right? Don't care about you. Skip your next turn to give plus three, plus three. Just stop it. Just stop it. It's the Franken Winken in a minute. I'm gonna have me some fun. Like you do. I like how our pretty heavy blue, blue, white, blue, black, blue, black, blue, black. This is these are not words that I'm saying. <clears throat> oh, what a backlight! Good seeing you, buddy. <coughs> this is good for our dreadship reap. <laughs> what up, Kerwit? Always a pleasure. Uh, this guy sucks. This guy sucks ass. This card's okay, actually. Two five for six is not great, but they get the four life and the vigilance make it pretty decent. I'm gonna take this Dirkwood Tracker. I think it's just better than both of those other cards. And also, if we play green, which Muscle Sliver is green. I don't know what I was saying. Actually, I probably blacked out. Um. Yeah. Paradox Haze, Ophidian Eye, and Vis Visid Lemures. Yoakum, 56 months in a row. That's like more times Hunter can wag his tail in a minute. That actually is more times. Uh, I think he's clocked at 53 in a minute, so you're just under, you're just over the wire there. Sinew Sliver, I believe, is in this format. Yes, I think it's in Planar Chaos. Uh, it's the next pack, and it's the replacement. I said Muscle Sliver, but I think, <clears throat> I don't think that's true. Muscle Slower is the OG, and that's not in this set. Destroy a land with Storm. In case you get like 35 spells before this, you get a it's a good Storm card. The sub alerts aren't popping up. This is injustice. Uh, Twitch alerts. Let's refresh you. All right, let's see if that worked. <clears throat> oh, Chronozoa is a thing. When this thing when it dies, if it had no time counters, so you make two copies of it. Oh, that's nice. But we also have some slivers up in this up in this beast. Regenerate slivs and haste slivs. This card's an MVP though, right? This is time spiral draft, Yokes. I'm gonna take this and hope the poultice sliver comes back. Oh, here's a poultice sliver anyway. Poultice and reflex, same two slivers. Oh, cautery sliver is very good. You can sack it, deal one damage to any permanent. Uh, all slivers have sacrifice permanent one damage. Actually, it's not that great. I thought it was. I thought it was two damage. Is there a different sliver that's two damage? That's just better. That player may put an artifact creature land from their hand onto the battlefield. Interesting. Braids. I'm gonna take poultice sliver because reasons. 
This set was great back in the day, yeah. <clears throat> Did it have Red Lotus Petal? Did it have Simeon Spirit Guide? I didn't even notice because it's a Phantom Draft. I probably would have taken it if it was a real draft. Ooh, Dormant Sliver. All Slivers have Defender. Yeah, you're like, how do I win? I don't know, I've shut off my win conditions. Oros is pretty powerful, and we can splash the red pretty easily. It's probably just Oros. There's no Sliver in here that I care about. I'm not gonna take Dormant Sliver. If I'm gonna splash green <clears throat> in my Esper deck, I'd rather splash red in my Esper deck. We also take Sunlance. I think Oros is strong enough to, to take here. I would love some fixing, but I don't... Oh, all slivers get trample. Battering sliver. Well, we did just commit to red, so... I'd rather not go green if I don't have to. Erratic mutation, also pretty good. Yeah, I think we're just taking the 4-4. Four, four. I think. Yeah, I think it's fine. <clears throat> it's also one red, which is nice because it means we don't have to like... We don't have to like commit to red too heavily here. All of our cards are, are one red. I'm actually turning the fan on now just so... Because my face is feeling... I got the hot face. Anything good here. Life and limb, what do you do? All forests and saplings are 1-1 one, one green. Sapling creatures and forests. Okay, so... That's something. Oh, spitting sliver. All slivers have first strike. Jota's Avenger, I remember being very, very good. 4-4. Four, four. Until the end of turn, it gains double strike, protection from red, vigilance, or shadow. That guy was great. Uh, because you can activate it multiple times. Though, obviously, there are diminishing returns on the, the value there. I'm just going to take the spitting sliver. Oh, Sinew Sliver. That's what we wanted. At least one Sinew Sliver here is just gas. Not even close. How many Slivers do we have so far? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 Slivers? Whew. Looking good. Looking Slivery. Frenetic Sliver? Oh, that guy's real good. Wild pair, was this good? Whenever Kajorn is battlefield, we cast from your hand. If you cast from your hand, you may search library for a creature card the same total power and toughness and put on Yeah, that card was not all it was it was alright. Um yeah, I think we're taking the frenetic sliver. This guy makes all your slivers pretty hard to deal with. That's great. I am on late tonight. <clears throat> so I had a TV delivered today, and I also had someone buy my old TV, so that was nice. It was a it was a nice two for in one day. So the TV was delivered at around eleven AM and the guy came and picked up the other TV at around noon. And I actually couldn't sleep that great last night. And um, Hunter actually woke me up. I was like dead asleep. And like an hour and a half after I fell asleep, Hunter woke me up because he was like choking on something. Just like a little dog. I got something caught in my throat choke. And um, so I was like, all right, come on, let's go. Let's get you some water. Let's let's rub your little throat. Let's. He got over it. He was fine. But woke me up, scared the hell out of me. And um, I went back to sleep. But like, I just felt like I didn't sleep that great. So I ended up after the TV was dropped off, after I set everything up, I just took a nap. I was supposed to be streaming, but it's just I felt like I needed some some sleep, especially because I'm still a little sick. So I'm going to take White Mane Lion. I like being able to save something like a Sinew Sliver or an Oros if I'm able to. I might cut the Magus just because it's double black, and we actually don't have that many other commitments here. Um, no. 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 I'll take Reflex Sliver, I guess. I mean, we have two very good green cards now, so oh, another Reflex Sliver. Oh, Braids. <clears throat> Giant Creature, plus two, plus two until end of turn. Oh, whenever a creature enters the battlefield. That's interesting. <clears throat> I'm always glad Hunter's okay. 
I'm gonna take mana tithe. I will get him. Ooh, Dormant Sliver came back. Hmm. I really don't want my Slivers having Defender. Man, this is a lot of Reflex Slivers coming back. What does this guy do? 5 3 Vanishing 1. Oh, whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player? Put a counter on it? That's actually not bad. I'm going to take this guy. It's not great, obviously, but... Target player draws two cards, then discards four cards? <laughs> you know what? I'm good, thanks. Target creature can be blocked in this except by artifact and or red creatures, so it gives them... Uh, red Intimidate. <clears throat> Alright, Summoner's Pact. Where are my slivers at? Homing Sliver. Oh, each sliver has sliver cycling. Mesmeric Sliver, all slivers have in this permanent as battlefield a Fate Seal. Uh, four mana and three mana. Could be relevant costs. Hmm. I imagine they would come back as well if we want to take something like Riddle of Lightning. Sporoloth Ancient also super strong. It's very strong. Uh, Luma Thread Field is kind of like a sliver, actually. I feel like Homing Sliver is actually very, very good. What's the cringe for? I don't actually know what to take in this pack. I want to take the homing sliver. I think it's fine. Creatures with no abilities get plus two, plus two. That's good, but uh, not for us. Doesn't look like there's any slivers in here either. That's unfortunate. Where are my slivers at? Riddle of Steel? I don't get it. Wasn't it Riddle of Lightning? What am I missing? Death Rattle is probably the pick here if there are no slivers. I had a gut feeling you're sure. Wow, that's that's an old meme, but it checks out. I'll take the death rattle. Oh, virulent sliver. Unfortunately, uh, what is frenzy? Whenever a sliver attacks and is not blocked, it gets plus one plus zero oh until end of turn. That's interesting. How many virulent slivers is worth like going five color for? Temporal Eddie of double blue is probably not getting cast. Return target sliver to its owner's hand. <laughs> Very funny interaction there. Yeah, I'm going to take the virulent sliver. I think it's probably worth playing. Horizon Canopy. You would never see this fifth pick if this was not a phantom draft. So that's pretty funny. Uh, scry 1, Scry 2, then Scry 3. That is very strong. Draw a card, then discard a card. That is also very strong. Sprout Storm. Swarm, also very, very strong with Convoke especially. I'm going to take the Sprout Swarm. This card is... Busted and limited. <clears throat> Second virulent sliver, eh? Um, that seems correct. Does this stack? Like, if you have multiples, they get... It doesn't matter. We're, we're going to play them anyway. I'm going to play slivers anyway. Play the slivers. <laughs> Oh, Nimbus Maze? That's actually probably pretty reasonable here. <coughs> frenzy Sliver, another, fre another, another Frenzy Sliver. Enchant Creature you control. Creatures you control have haste. That's interesting. I'm probably just taking Nimbus Maze here for the fixing. Like, we have 21 cards, and we definitely have cards in the sideboard that we can easily put in. Um, what do we want? I'd like two drops. 
<clears throat> Kavu Primark is pretty okay. <laughs> I wonder if it's just... I don't want Bold Bear Intimidator. I, I like the card a lot, but I don't really want to play a, a double red card in this deck. Maybe it's Delay? It might just be Delay. I guess we'll just take the delay. I don't think that pack is super exciting. My sliver is this four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen slivers. Dear God, that's a lot of slivers. <clears throat> Actually, the frenzy sliver is very good with the shadow sliver. That's fascinating. Um. Uh, it's probably just all grill Vec. The four life could be relevant in this deck. Destroy an enchanted perm. Destroy enchanted. Yeah, we're not gonna take all that. We're just gonna take this guy. Uh, wrap in vigor. Regenerate each creature you control. Oh, Leaden fist is removal. It's not great removal, but also you can put on a vigilant guy. Do our servers have vigilance? No. Yeah, Flowstone's removal if you have, if they have two or less toughness. Leaden Fist is just also removal. Keeps them tapped. I'm pretty sure Poison just deals poison damage, not both, because that would be a little bit busted. Uh, Hench Fiend of Yukor. This is an interesting card. It's Echo is black, and you can pump it. Yeah, that's that's cute and all, but oh, Frenzy Sliver came back, which is actually very good because I actually like it more with the um, uh, with the Shadow Sliver. Pretty sure poison doesn't deal both. Otherwise, infect decks would be really, really good in modern. And then, like, can I? You can't. I can't really imagine if I, if they did both. Where's my? Where's that other frenzy sliver? Can we get that dude back here? Whenever their creature enters the battlefield, exile this, return it to the battlefield under its owner's control at the beginning of the end step. That's, that's cute. Whatever, I'll take it. You little salt skitter, you. Oh, poison and infect. I'm getting poison and infect confused. Why is Why are they separate things? That's so weird. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Poison, yeah, poison deals combat damage, and you get the poison counter as a result of the combat damage. So, yeah, they do deal both. That's really interesting. That's so weird that you have, like, almost identical abilities, but they they, they function so fundamentally differently. Uh, yeah, none of these cards are any good. I think this is our deck. Our man is terrible. I mean, it's about just we're just playing mono basics here with a Nimbus Maze, a Vesuva, and a Dreadship Reef. <clears throat> Reflex Sliver is an option. Giving our slivers haste could be actually decent. It's probably better than the Lemurus, right? Yeah, all right. Might as well. Might as well play all the slivers, right? Stipulations not not to be trifled with. What do we have? One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen slivers. That's good stuff. All right. <clears throat> Let's play these lands. Let's add our basics. Two two green seems... I'll go to three just because we have one drops. Uh, two red seems fine. Uh, we can cut one blue. 
three, three, four, three, four. One, two, three, four, six, seven, nine, 12, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yeah, this seems fine. I might want another red. Nah, we don't want another. The thing about the home, so one of the red cards, one both of them cost six, one of them cost three, and uh, one of them is actually, you can slow recycle it if you really need to, so. This is not, <clears throat> it's not the prettiest mana base, but it's actually hard to have a super, uh, a super pretty mana base in this format if you're going five colors. God, are we still having the, the poison conversation? <laughs> That's good. You know what? This is a hand where I'm like, I don't even care what color lands you gave me. If you just gave me more than one, I'd be fine. But you didn't. Okay. We good. You know what? I'll keep this guy. This was back when Slivers gave uh, the buff to everyone, not just your Slivers, which is interesting. Ooh, fascinating. Okay, so next turn... Oh, we don't actually have a white. That's interesting. So I guess we just go Frenzy Sliver here. And then if we draw a, a white mana, we can play Virulent and Sinew, and then we can follow it up with this guy, so not bad. We did not draw the coveted white mana, unfortunately. <clears throat> you gonna counter this guy? No. Oh, interesting. Are you going to fly? Are you, whoa, this is aggressive, dude. You're being aggressive right now. Oof, that's a good one. This actually has an impact now. This does not. So we're just going to play this guy. Frenzy is if the creature is not blocked, it gets plus one plus O oh until end of turn. So we do use six here. That's pretty good. Get him. It's gonna be a here comes a madness card. Yep. Actually, that's not bad. It's just Grave Scrabbler. No blocks. Well, we can play two slivers here. We could also just actually play Screeching Sliver and then play White Mane and bounce whatever they block. Because I assume they block here. All right, so the Frenzy triggers. So they take six, but if they if we just let this die, this guy stays alive, though. Yeah, I think it's probably just better to play two slivers here. We could have bounced it, but then this guy stays alive. They 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 take two less, so they'd be at eight. This feels a little better. Three, four, five. We still have six damage on board, so they can't really attack here. Or can they? Well, this is intriguing.
I guess we're just gonna we're just gonna keep up white man lion here. I don't know what tricks they can have, but they're gonna have to have some. Return a non-land. Aren't they still dead? Sure. Yeah, you're just you're totally dead here. <laughs> the frenzy just kills you. The five iron frenzy. Isn't that a ska band? All right. Well, that was that was a that was a hell of a sliver beatdown. I almost like bringing Vampiric Link because they do have Gossamer Phantasm, which if I target it, it dies. Plus, like the life could be relevant. I don't know. Hmm. Actually, for playing green, I like Duskwood Tra Dirkwood Tracker a lot. Maybe better than Augur. What should I get for dinner, and why is it Taco Bell? Taco Bell has a green, a green, a green, a bean burrito. A good, good bean burritos. Oh, turn one virulent sliver into. Oh, please let's draw. Let's draw a mount, a uh, swamp, and a, and a, and an island. Swamp, and an island. Let's do it. We can do it. They went to six. Our hand is great. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, biscuits. We're doing it. All right. That's. I'll take it. I'm not I'm gonna play this post combat because I'm good at magic, clearly. Yikes, I'm bad at this game. It's okay, we're going for poison, it's fine. Oh god, post combat I oh god. Judge me. Judge me. Come on. I can take it. Wow, look at this weird morph. That is That is uncomfortable. <laughs> this is actually pretty good because now we can regenerate any of these guys and next turn we have uh, this is a stip this is a stipulation provided by Guardian Lynx slash uh, Jake Penrod Jake P what is this? what are you doing for 4 mana? Nightshade, pre Nightshade Assassin perhaps? <sighs> I'm waiting. Are they figuring out how many cards they want to discard? Are they reveal? Or are they trying to figure out which sliver is the most threatening? <clears throat> oh, Acre Slick. Okay. I accept. That's fine because we only need one of these two to survive, so... So either take six here. Yep, that's pretty good. Oh, no, we didn't have Frenzy Sliver out. I'm a dummy. Can a dude get one island for his sweet, sweet Chronozoa Think Twice hand? Yeah, this is some kind of nightmare fuel, this morph. I don't, I'm not comfortable with this at all. It's real creepy looking. Wow, Icker Slick number two. But you can't cast it. All right. Sure. Seems fine. Okay, they didn't... Oh, wow. Wow, we're good at this game. Good gravy. What up, David Bird? Oh, and we just win the match. All right, sometimes Sliver is OP, I guess. Yikes. 
Yikes. I want to put in this Dirkwood Tracker because that's a good dude. We can take out the Augur Ilvec for now. <clears throat> All right, let's do it. Clearly our deck is unbeatable, and uh, I, I can't imagine the opponent who wants to face off against us because, good lord. Uh, snap keep. <laughs> we have three early plays, and it can cast them all. Seems good. We got Goo Goo Doll over here. Baby's black balloon makes her fly. Remember that song? Remember that Goo Goo Doll song? <laughs> you don't. It's okay. You too. What do you think when you see the first turn vir virulent sliver? How does that how does that factor into your your emotional state when you're playing Magic the Gathering? Oh no, someone with a poison deck. Concede. That's good. And I won't tell them your name. Uh, I'm going to play this. I think the odds of them having a removal spell for the sliver is pretty low. Plus, I'd much rather get another creature out, be it uh, either Think Twice or White Mane. Or not uh, or Screeching Sliver here. Think Twice not being a creature. My point is I want to get another sliver out, and I don't want to have to bounce my current sliver to do so. So, so, so. To do so, so. <laughs> yeah. Of course, we could have played Think Twice this turn and then had White Mane and Screeching Sliver next turn, but that doesn't really help us. I love the goose. <laughs> oh, that's sad. That's actually fine. Oh, all right. Well, we're going to play you and play you. And we're going to mill you for one. Mill you. We're going to mill you for one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think you're gonna be able to pay for this. I think that's a little too expensive for you. <clears throat> what is Arc Blade? What does this do? Uh, three suspend. It deals two damage to any target. Exile with three. To oh wow! It just keeps on arcing. Time keeps on arcing, arcing, arcing into the future. Let's mill you. Let's think twice. All right. Sliver. That is a sliver. My God. My goodness. Always yield to these poison triggers. Ain't nobody got time for that. So many slivers. Thankfully, this is a good amount of turns without an arc blade, so I'm okay with it. <clears throat> Deals two damage to each creature without flying. Lucky, 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 lucky. Well then. And that's something. That is something. We're having a bad time now. We went from really good into really bad. That's a good one. That is a solid card. Okay. Well, we're not going to play Pultus Sliver here so they can Arc Blade it. That seems bad. We could play Frenzy Sliver. They'll target it. We can White Main Lion, which is probably okay. Okay. 
God, rough and tumble is pretty brutal. Oh, also, this does not get... Um, this gets countered because it has no target, so they don't get to resuspend it, which is great. Yeah, that's pretty great. Wow, four Taco Bells and a Cadoba. That's pretty rough. Not ideal. What does this dude do? Oh, it's just three one with the. Uh, oh wow. We're getting real. Uh, we're getting real suspendy in here. I don't have any red mana. I don't have any red mana. <laughs> I guess we'll play both of these slivers, and you know, fingers crossed that they don't get wrecked. A red mana would be great here. Then we can frenetic sliver all of our things. But uh, for now, we'll play poultry sliver. Oh, it's called poultice sliver. <laughs> yes, you see. Okay, well, that's great. Oh, look at that idiot. I'm going to burn. I'm going to murder that dude. God, that was so dark, wasn't it? Murder one, two, three. Take out the screeching sliver. I want to leave enough mana to uh, activate the dreadship reef. Rough number two. All right, that's fine. I was like, yeah, rough number two doesn't make much sense. We got infiltrator, of course, so that's nice. Wow, grape shot for three. Jesus, what is even happening right now? I want to vomit. How many times are you gonna wipe my slivery board? What up, steel orcs? I had a rough number two earlier. Wow. Jesus. <laughs> oh, crying out loud. Oh, I don't know what happened there, but I'll consider that a small win. Sliver's too strong. Baby's black balloon makes her fly. If I keep singing this Goo Dolls song, I'm going to get demonetized. They're going to be like, he's playing the song. It sounds identical. Mountain. Island? Did you mishear me, Magic Online? I don't know what to do. I guess I want to trade with this morph before it's too late. Oh, I guess we're not trading with this morph. Well then. Hmm. I almost wonder if we should have attacked here because they're just going to bounce the poultice sliver, which is pretty bad. And they attack for at least seven, not including if they flip this morph into something like a brine elemental. I'm uncomfortable. I get my 11 month old taco bell taco. That outfit is now in the. I'm my 11 month old taco bell taco. That outfit is now in the garbage. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Don't bounce my poultice sliver. That's just rude. Were you born this rude? Or did you. 
come to be this rude through years of training. Is that a euphemism, Yoakum? The uh, wild turkeys around here are looking particularly well fed, if you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, no, I have no idea what you're talking about. Don't fat shame the turkeys, Yoakum. Okay, well. Hi, <clears throat> Vey. One, two, three. You know this. You know this. Remember, you remember Poultice Sliver? Old Pulty? Oh, biscuits. <coughs> you didn't block last turn, but you're blocking this turn. That's interesting. <sighs> Alright, I feel like we're a little behind here. I'm not going to... I'm not going to lie to you guys. All right, we did it. Three, four, five, six. We go to one. We still got this. If we can draw a battering sliver and reflex sliver and a red mana, and we can play them both. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we can do that. If we can draw those three cards, uh, I think we got this. What was that counter? It was a dismal failure. Four mana, and then I counter a spell, and I discard a card. I can't block any of these nerds. We're definitely bringing in Augur. Baby's black balloon makes her fly. The balloon makes her fly? That's really weird. Oh, you're just going to riff bolt me. That's rude. You know what you did. I am rude. <laughs> yes, I can see that. Good times, good times. I'm going to bring this in. Uh, white main line was actually good. It just was bad once it was on the board. It was just like, well, now what do you do, you idiot? That was rude to white main line, unfortunately. Um, you know what? Sometimes you just play 41. Sometimes you just YOLO it. Oh, that's why, yes, because their name is Goo Goo Doll. I stole my opponent's Mox Sapphire with Dak Fade in real life and ran off with it after the game. That's not okay. <laughs> don't, don't tell me about the thefts you've committed in real life. He did get uh, it back, ass, ass back eventually? He did get ass back eventually? I don't know what that... What is the what got what got bleeped there? We both rushed. <laughs> oh, okay. This sounds like it was just like a funny like. Oh, hey, we gotta go. All right, see you later. Oh shit, I, I got your mocks. I may be rude, but I am honest. Okay, good. So I was playing Dak Faden, and my opponent had a mox, and then I took it in game, and then I took it in real life. And then I took off. Yeah, don't do that. It's funny because, like, my legs are real cold because of the coldness and because this tile floor. But then, like, my face is hot because I have this this lamp here, the LEDs. And it's just, like, it's real. My body's all like, what the f what is going on, dude? I'm going to keep this hand because it has every color we can want. If they're playing black, which they're not, we don't have a black mana, but that's okay. How much is a mox in real life? A mox sapphire is probably like 3k now. 2, two to 3k, depending on condition. Ooh. Ooh. The problem is we can't play Frenetic of Freed on turn 4. Ooh, we can Vesuva this, actually. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Yeah, we'll copy this. So now we can go frenetic, frenetic sliver on turn three. And we're just kind of fingers crossed you don't rough and tumble. Do I sound better? I can't even tell. I feel like this is just how I sound now. This is just my life now. Infiltrator Ilkor. 
eel core. Frenetic sliver. Do, 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 do. I also need some moxin. However, they're a little bit out of my price range currently. Unless you guys want to keep subscribing. And then eventually we'll get them mox. We'll get them. We'll have a moxin dream. <laughs> you good at winning flips <laughs> oh boy rough and tumbles happening you should open a store called frank's yolo froyo where you just give people random flavors of froyo and they're like beef tips this yogurt is disgusting and i'm like and then i point to the sign and then they're going to be like, I'm never coming back here again. Come on, one time. I lost the flip. Can I flip it again in response? No, because I guess the whole thing has to resolve. That's unfortunate. I told you. I told you I wasn't good at it. Oh, I won the flip. Hooray! Everything are good, huh? I think I've subscribed long enough. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Uh, that's a good point. I can I concur. Well, 50-50. We tried to rough and tumble for a, vir a virulent, virulent sliver. Oh, that's good. I'm glad I do sound better then. That's nice. Good to hear it. And good for you to hear me. Everybody wins. Everybody a win, huh? So this can make a white. Yeah, we're just going to play this. And then we can actually Sprout Swarm here. That seems better than just attacking for two, right? Because you get to a point where you can almost go infinite with this card. I kind of want to do it now, though. Uh, no, I don't. Maybe I do. I don't know. Yeah, I kind of do. Not want to do it now. We know they have the counter spell. But if they just pass and don't do anything. No, this is too strong. It's too strong. Because next turn we'll have one, two, three, four, five, and then we'll have one, two, and then the guy, so that's three. I don't know. It gets to the point where you can make it like two or three guys a turn. Oh, one, five. Well, that's pretty good. It's not going to save you, though. Your one, five won't save you. Deals damage to his power to attacking creature. That creature's damage to his power to go to Tracker. So this is just a fight. They just do the fight arena. They just do the fight. The fight arena. I don't know what I'm saying right now. Uh, yes, we're going to make a swarm guy. And then we're going to play it again. And uh, do the thing and the stuff and the swarm arenas. Let's just do it now, I guess. <clears throat> so next turn, we can play a land. Next time we should build a point where we can do it twice because we can go five, we'll make a guy, and we'll have an extra land so we can go one, two, three, four, five. And then we're just making two a turn. And then like it snowballs after that. Because we get to a point where you can make three or, three or four a turn and then you're like literally, once you can make five a turn, you go infinite, right? I don't know if that's, I don't know if that math works out. No, I don't think so. I think I made that up. I think I totally just made that up. Yep, all these one fives are fine. We got some time. We're doing all right. Making your way in the world today takes everything you got. I believe we can play this guy first, right? One, two, three, five. Yeah, we can do that. Wouldn't you like to get away?
Could have also cast this guy and then made one token, which might have been better, but mistakes were made. This is how Sprout Swarm works. They have two cards in hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, I feel a tromp coming. That would have been sick. Tromp the domains would be OP. I would like a way to deal with this guy at some point. We have Dirkwood Tracker, I guess, which does deal with it. I see. Well, that's something, isn't it? Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Pretty sure that's just the end of us. That card is unbeatable. This is just a it's just a red uh pestilence. Pestilence being extremely overpowered and limited. Uh yep. Flip. Heads. I lost the flip. He dies. Yeah. That's probably the one card that I was actually afraid of with Sprout with Swarm. But uh, here we are. Yeah, there's no real way to beat that. We're also at a point where they can just do it for one. Uh, they're at seven more life. Yeah, we're just going to go to the next, the next match because we're not going to win this game, unfortunately. Do we have anything that could have beaten that? Not, nope. None of these cards. All right. Yeah, Pestilence is pretty broken. Like the fact that they have two one fives mean the means the pyrohemia is never gonna leave the board. It leaves the board when there are no creatures on the battlefield, and uh, that is not likely when they have one fives. They can just they can just deal four to everything on the board. Their one fives survive. Mister Opponent, if that is your real name, I bet that is his real name. These two matches have gone fairly quickly, though. Uh, Black Wrath was pretty dumb, otherwise known as Damnation, and uh, we played against that yesterday in our other Time Spiral draft. So we have played against both of the Sweet Sweepers. Sweet Sweepers was the name of my uh, barbershop quartet. The Sweet Sweepers. Back in college, in case you guys were interested. This hand seems fine. I'll take it. All right. What was it like being in college in the 70s? Oh, you know. It was rough. You know, because Magic Online wasn't around. And, uh, you know, I knew someday I'd be in my 70s when I was playing Magic Online. And, uh, 60s? How old does that make me? I don't know. Sit around while Grandpa Frank tells you stories of his college days in his barbershop quartet, the Street Sweeper. Sweet, sweet sweepers? I don't even remember, man. It's oh, another another red blue deck? Crying out loud. I feel like me slivers are getting hated out here. Sliver me timbers over here. Sliver me timbers being the name of my sliver pirate themed uh barbershop quartet we would, we would say we're slim sliveler but di different to other barbershop quartets you like these barbershop quartet jokes these going anywhere any of these landing probably not
Are there any hasty boys they could play with Flash or with uh, Shadow? Because otherwise I might just drop this Shadow Boy. He was a Shadow Boy. He said, see you later, boy. This is a bit dude in shadows all day. You're going to kill my Frenzy Slayer? And then I'm left with a 1-1 Shadow creature that's not overly impressive. This is emotionally draining. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. No, they changed their mind. They're like, you know what? Oh, no, maybe I want to do it after all. You know what? I'm not going to do it. Okay. Okay. Oh, yes, the Frank. Kerwin, I also got the, I got the sweatshirt that you ordered for the green sweatshirt today for Mike. That's pretty hilarious, dude. The number of packages I've been getting in the mail from people uh, from stream is pretty impressive. I'll be honest. I'm always like, what is this? I don't remember ordering anything from this. Oh, wait, now I know what it is. It's someone sending me things. Now I understand. All right, now they're going to do something, right? No. All right, well. Where was the skater boy? Said, see you later, boy. Neg plus two, negative one. All right, well. I feel like Frenzy is scarier than Shadow, but probably not. Hunter's green screen shirt will take a little longer. <laughs> All right, we're going to try this. Let's see if this guy sticks. I don't know what counter spells are in this farm, but I got to assume that you can't have any counter spell for. Oh, I've made a mistake. I feel sad. I think I saw you guys that one time singing that one song. Which one, which song was that? I forgot. Nope. Frenzy says if the creature is not blocked, it gets plus one plus zero oh until end of turn. I think one of our hits, uh, as a barbershop quartet was called Sliver of Your Love. I kind of just want to kill this because I don't know what it is and that scares me. It's probably not the best strategy, but... Oh, Void Mage Prodigy? That actually might have been the best strategy because they could just flip it and counter it, so... You know, that one song. I don't think I do. Can you can you fill me in? What I want to draw is... Can I borrow a feeling? <laughs> oh, man. That's a classic right there. What is that? Uh, Millhouse's dad? Can I borrow a feeling? I'm a superstar at the Cracker Factory. Wow, grape shot in all these decks? What in the earth is going on, man? <gasps> I was really ho I was gonna say I hope we draw a mountain and then an Oros, but okay, so if they're gonna give me the mountain, or if they're gonna give me the Oros, they can at least give me the mountain, right? Death touch me slowly. <laughs> oh man. How about grape shot to the heart? That's a good one. Those are classics. I don't want to set the world on fire. I just want to start. Oh, holy Jesus. Oh, that was convenient. Look at that Tarek's blade wing. Good God. Frank loves grape shot. <laughs> That's good. That's a solid meme. Can I draw a mountain just one time? My first mountain in the entire draft... One time, come on, Mountain Jesus, where are you when I need you? Would that be Perforos? Would Perforos be Mountain Genius? Mountain Genius? Mountain Jesus? <sighs> Gotta be honest, this guy's not uh, not ideal.
Oh, I see. Well, that's something, isn't it? Boy, this death rattle. I've lost all ambition. I feel like these games have been relatively close. Look. Look with your ophidian eye. <laughs> My enchantment. Another infiltrator, huh? Uh, this guy, rather. All right. Come on. Oh, red card. That's just like a mountain, only different. Hmm. Well... Our deck can't beat this 3-3, which is pretty unfortunate. Now I understand why they killed the uh, the Shadow Sliver. What's TMGA? The Magic Gathering Arena? Just kidding, Fearsaurus. Fearsaurus, has your typing gotten worse? I don't remember it being this bad before when you were Fearsaurus. Is it a Lovecrafty thing? All right, we're at eight. It's all right. We're doing good. Oh, it's a phone thing. I gotcha. I gotcha. Okay, see, this is not a red either. I think we're going to go to the next game. Because this guy's coming down, and we have four, five, six, seven, eight unblockable. I'm going to add one more mountain to the deck, just because, come on. Also, Vesuba would have been a mountain there, too. Hmm. God, for so few red cards, though. Oh, my name is Frank. I don't make typos because I'm speaking out loud instead of typing. Yeah, that sounds about right. You know, that sounds okay. That's what you sound like. Yeah, I, I believe it. I believe it. I'm going to put leaden fists in this in this bad boy for that, for that Rorix butt wing. If you know what I'm saying. I'll take out the homing sliver, I guess. I guess. That's what you sound like. Except it's a... It's like a mountain, except it's a monkey. That's fair. I've lost all ambition... Chugrin, welcome back. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. 34 months in a row, that is not a reasonable amount of time, which is why I'm so grateful for it. Oh, I lost my pig. I will get it. All right. I appreciate it. Always a pleasure, Fears Oars. Yeah, did you did you just call did you just assume that ape was a monkey? Can we get some zoologists in the chat to confirm that this is not, uh, they are not the same? Hashtag not all primates. I will play first. All right, this hand looks great. However, it's probably bad. It's okay. It's okay. Our, our games have been fine, I think. Yeah, three years is pretty ridiculous. Chugrin, thank you so much, buddy. You are the hero we need. I ain't no kind of primate, doctor. Dr. Zayas, Dr. Zayas. Oh, 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 Dr. Zayas. That's from The Simpsons, in case you guys didn't know. Oh, Doctor. Oh, wow, we did it. We did it, boys. Give me that regeneration. Give me that regen sliver. Uh oh, hold on. Here we go. <coughs> Woo! Biscuits. 
Oh, I didn't even see them suspend this guy on turn one. Dang. I'm going to play. I should have attacked with both. I guess we get the damage in. Yeah, because now if they go like Rough Tumble, we lose all our guys. The next time they get a 4 1, and then we're probably just dead. Rough Tumble is such a broken magic card. They did not do that, so that's pretty cool. Well, now we're just attacking with both of these guys. Keeping regeneration shield up. Come and rock me on the dice. Of course, they're just going to be like Sulfurous Vortex, Sulfurous Blast here. The two damage to all creatures. We regenerate this guy, I guess, and then, then it's actually okay. Then we get to keep two. Uh, I don't know why I didn't play Pre-Combat Frenzy. It's because I'm not good at this game and I forgot that ability. So if we end up losing. But next turn, all our guys have Shadow. So that's pretty good. Hopefully they'll tap out for something dumb. But then they die. So that doesn't really make a lot of sense. Yeah, they would have taken two more damage. They'd be at eight. Rock me on the dais. Ovenize, target your lose all abilities and has base power and toughness 01. Uh oh. Oh boy. Well, this seems bad. I'm having a bad time. All right, we'll save this guy for now, I guess. All right, well. Oh, what up, mean mugger? Long time no see, old friend. Old friendo. That's a sheep joke. That was a sheep joke. You're right. That was a bleeding. That was a bleeding sheep joke. Oh, they just we just win the game. All right. So be it. <laughs> well then. Oh, that is Dr. Mean Mugger. Man. Katie, I'm so proud of you. Dr. Zeus, Dr. Zeus. Oh, 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 Dr. Zeus. Help, the human's about to escape. Get your paws off me, you dirty ape. <gasps> he can... In Dr. Zeus. Oh, Dr. Zeus. <laughs> That's fantastic. Oh, man. Of course, I'm demonetized now, but, you know, otherwise. Anytime, friend, anytime. What to do here? This is a mulligan, I believe. Eh, we'll keep this. You're going to leave. So we have a black and a white here. So all we need is a mountain. Mountain will be great. Let's just play not a turn three phonetic sliver. Dang it. Oh, yeah. Rest in peace, Phil Hartman. You were a... You were a... amazing, I guess. I don't know what to say there. You were an incredible gentleman. I'm wearing my steamed ham. Steamed ham. You're wearing steamed hams. Yes. Skinner. Uh-uh. <clears throat> 
And Dr. Zayas, Dr. Zayas. Oh, 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 Dr. Zayas. Let's play this little guy. Can't play a blue card, can't play a black card, so. Uh, this is a Time Spiral draft, and we are playing Slivers in the Time Spiral. Oh, look at this blue. Look how fitting for Time Spiral. It has a blue border around it. <laughs> oh, Magic Online, you little scamp. Oh, 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 Dr. Zayas. Ooh, no attacks, huh? Well, I'm going to put leaden fists on this guy. Let's get a counter on this thing. Rock me on the dais. Rock me, Dr. Zayas. Burp, 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 burp. What to do? What to do? I'm sorry, what? Uh, remove X storage counters from Gertrude Priest and one. Yeah, all right. Uh, one. Okay. Get them. I hope they counter this. That would be great. Just need a sliver of luck to draw land. That you you're right. You're right. I don't have. I haven't had a single sliver of luck this entire draft. That's not true. Do you take four here? Oh my god, you do. Everything's coming up, Millhouse. What? They didn't play anything? It's all happening. When it enters battlefield, look at the top four cards you're allowed to put them back in any order. That's a 1-1? One, one? Oh, man. Ooh, oh, man. I would like a black, a blue, or a red mana here. Preferably a black mana. Followed by a blue mana. Followed by a red mana. Come on, we've missed we missed the land drop already. Don't make it two. All right, that was the that was the first step. Would you prefer manas or lands? I would prefer lands. Awkwardly enough, is there a way to deal one damage here? I don't care. I have a white man lion. Little Savannah lions. Just kidding, it's white main line. Give me back my give me back my sinew sliver. You heard the man. <laughs> give him his lands in the order he asked for. And now we can put a counter on this guy. And that's really that's really all I want in life is just put counters on my dreadship reef. That's not true. I overstated I understated my my desires, my worldly desires, so I apologize for misleading you, kind viewers. Oh, old Cole Stoker. Oh, Cole Stoker, keep on rolling. Oh, God, and a Simeon Spirit Guide? You're just casting that dude? Well, biscuits. Well, we need to find a way through here. Come through, it's lit, as the kids say. I bought some guac at the supermarket and it's surprisingly legit. Really spicy, too. Would it not be? Well, I only believe that guac that I make by hand in my with my mason pummel is uh, the only... That's the only worthy guac for me, you see. <laughs> yes. That's how I imagine you to say, to say that. All right, well, I can play Sinew Sliver, put another counter on the reef.
That's exactly how I sound. Oh boy. This is like the battle of the mediocre creatures right now. Where's your son? <laughs> how dare you, Katie? How dare you? I'm all like, my name is, my name is Jeff. I like a fancy guac. Uh, my name is Jeff. Oh boy. The biscuits are so real right now. I just want to play Sinew Sliver, but it only affects one thing. But it also lets us put a counter on this, but I think I just want a Basil Sliver here. Oh, it's pronounced Basil Sliver. Yes, thank you. How much mana can we make right now? A lot. A lot of mana. If they try to kill either of these slivers, we can put a counter on this, which is super nice. Because then next turn we can remove two, three, four, five. And if we draw that mountain that we've been dreaming of, we get to play Oros for the first time in this entire draft. That's all I want. One Oros. One Oros. <clears throat> My name is, in fact, Jeff. Yeah, he actually got mad at me for saying it one time. He messaged me privately, and he was like, did you ever say my name again? I will come to your house and kill you. And I was like, oh, my God. You take your name very seriously. He did, in fact, take his name very seriously. I'll take two here. I actually don't feel like I'm in a position to confirm nor deny whether his name is Jeff because, like I said, he got violent with me once, and that was the end. I never wanted to spoil his secret again. Although, to be fair at the time, I didn't know it was a secret. I just thought it was his name. That is not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. Do they have anything? They have to have something, right? Oh, biscuits. Oh, schmiscuits. All right, let's try it again. We're going to waste our other counter on here. I said I'll come to your house and chill with you. That's not what you said. Don't you even. Don't you backpedal now that you're live. Yeah, this is never going to resolve. In 3,000 years, this would never resolve. They got five mana sitting there. Can you record a bunch of videos so that if he kills you, my viewing my viewing schedule won't be interrupted? Yeah, I'll, I'll get right on that. I should I should have a uh, I should have enough to last you for a couple years. I don't have that. Oh, for four. One, two, three, four, five. I suppose you can have this. Theoretically, we can do it. I don't like that, though. Oh, that was just sad. Oh, that's not good. Don't know much about the story. Don't know much about Sliver C. I just wanted them to be unblockable so that I can poison my opponent. None of this song rhymes. He's basically just talking at this point. Is that a flash? <gasps> oh! Biscuits and gravy. I'm going to kill that dude immediately. I did not know that had flash. Wow, what a time to be alive. If you're on a bun, are you a hot dog? It's possible. I guess we don't have to kill that guy now, do we? I guess we could just wait. I want to. I, I went to IKEA with with Yoko once. It was great. You're going away too, fat boy. Does combat damage to a player, right? To an opponent, sure. Oh, I see what you're doing here. Oh, I see what you're doing, eh, mate? You're going to kill the sinew sliver. And then... 
Yeah, I see what's happening right now. You think you're so loving crafty, don't you? Yep, I'm going to sack this guy. Choose any target. Uh, sack a dad, too. I want to assume that it dies, so. And then we're going to death rattle your friend here. We're going to get rid of... I don't think we have any way to get rid of... Get things back from our graveyard, so. One. I might as well... Eh, meh. We're not going to be able to put a counter on this this turn, so... One, two, three, four. And we'll take rid of Leaden Fist and uh, this guy. Yep, all right. Sure. So we traded a Death 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 Rattle and a Sinew Sliver for an Ophidian Eye, a Riddle, and a Simeon Spirit Guide. But they did draw a card off it, so we kind of broke even. Any land here would be great for the tracker. Or a red would be particularly nice because... Well, reasons. They have no cards in hand? Alright, I feel like we can actually win this game. If the deck, that's what we're talking about. If the deck does what we want it to do. <laughs> Is it tour or tour? <laughs> uh, are we going on a, a tour or a tour? I'm sorry, can you say again? Just for confirmation? Alright, they have one card. Red mana. Poultice. Poultry sliver. Okay. I guess we'll keep up the green so that we can play you and still keep up this f beautiful fight ability. I'm surprised at how much this 3-3 is causing trouble for us. Yeah, they suspended uh, the Infiltrator Elcor, which is coming down now. We're going on a guy dad visning. I don't know. Oh god, he's doing he's doing Swedish. I guess we could trade here. I think this is actually a fine trade. Oh god. What did you draw? You had two card draw two cards to draw. Oh, I see. How nice. Well, that is something. You're doing very well for yourself. We're all very... Give me one mountain, please! I'm begging you! I'm begging you! Come on. R and Jesus, one time. Come on. Come on. Nailed it! God, we're so good at this game. Hello, Biscuits. So it deals three damage to each non-white creature. Wow, that's pretty good. So we can actually tap two to regenerate, tap two to regenerate, and if we hit a land, we can still activate the ability. Huh. Well, hopefully they don't have one answer in their, their two cards in hand. Come on. Come on. I'm about to bust. Oh my god, the timeliness of this mountain. I'm about to bust. It's a red manas. <laughs> One red manas off the top. Yeah, Yoakum pops in every now and then. I miss his presence though. I know it's because he doesn't watch as much magic as he used to. Which is definitely understandable. Oh, good games! Oh, we did it! 2-1 with the slivers. Oh, man. Oros killed it. Oh, my goodness gracious. Let's see how many slivers we had in this deck. Uh, it's not going to be there. It's going to be here. And then we're going to go view previous deck. How many? How many slivers? What was our end sliver count? I don't want this here, but all right, cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen slivers in our deck. We had what four, seven non-sliver cards. That's pretty insane. Um, 
Thank you, JP, so much for for commissioning this tip. You really, you're the you're the best, dude. And this is an awesome idea. Um, in the chat, in the Discord, Jake was like, um, "What does he say?" He's like, he's like, if you don't want to do that one, here's another, here's a different one. And I'm like, no, 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 I'll totally do this one, because uh, it sounds super cool. Just take all the, uh, just take all the slivers. Obviously, and 16 is a is an insane amount, especially because we went two one with the deck, with just 16 random slivers in it. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on Twitch and Patreon. Both of the links are in the description below if you want to support the stream in any way. You can also check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. You'll get 15% off and free shipping and free returns on any onesies or micromodal underwear or socks or tees or lounge pants. Anything you want. 15% off and uh, free shipping, free returns. Check that out. Definitely helps me. Helps you. And uh, you get to support the stream. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it.